Welcome to Tranquil Coding. This is our Android Sensor series. In our previous video, we have set up the project and created two activities for the listing of the sensors and showing the details of the sensor. Let's recap. So this is the home page where all the sensors will be listed. And this is the detail space where the sensor details will be shown in real time. We have also added MP Android chart which will be used to show the real time data. In this video, we are going to learn how to get the accelerometer sensor data and show it into the chart. In our main activity, we have set the intent to send the extra string that is sensor to accelerometer when the accelerometer button is clicked and gyroscope when the gyroscope is clicked. So we are going to just use the accelerometer. In the sensor activity, we have taken a variable that is called sensor and using the intent get string extra, we are going to get the sensor name. And we're going to set the title of the page to the sensor name. So now let's obtain the sensor data. Let's first get the sensor manager. Now we have the sensor manager. Then we need to get the sensor. The sensor is a nullable type, so we're going to take a null variable. So this intent value, this can change over time for different intent. So we are going to use condition for which the sensor will be chosen according to the intent sent to this activity. If sensor name is equal accelerometer, we are going to use sensor get default sensor sensor dot type accelerometer. Now we created a new method called setup sensor detail, and we use the let function on the sensor variable to pass the not null sensor. Now we have set the basic information like the type, manufacturer, power, max and etc. And it should work properly. Let's see. As you can see, it's showing the manufacturer type, resolution, max mens, power and wake up or not. So this is an Android emulator. So this is showing the test data. Uh, we will be testing in the real device to show the actual data what we can see in the real devices. Let's move on to the next part and then we will test in the real devices. Now let's set up the MP Android chart to enable it to get the data from our sensor. First we need to customize it to have the settings we wanted. So we have taken a basic setup where we don't want any description, the pins, zoom, draggable, scalable and touchable, everything is enabled. We have taken the X axis which will be this axis. Now we have set up the Y axis. So Y axis can be in both sides on left and right side. We only use the left side so we disable the right one. And we have set up the minimal animation duration and we have created a line data and we set the data with the chart. Let's add the sensor event listener. This is our sensor event listener which will listen to the event and notify the chart to show accordingly. First, we get the x, y and z from the sensor event. We are going to use the let expression again so that we don't run into null variables and run into any crash. Now we have three text view for x, y and z axis. Let's add the text to the text view. Now we added the values to the appropriate text view and change the color to make them look different. Now we again call the line data from the line chart. Now we have created three I line data set for all of the indexes in the chart. Now we are creating three sets with customization. So we created a new method called create set and pass the color for different customization of the set. So this is our basic setup of the create set. It will return the line data set to these methods and it will set the data set to these sets. Now in here, every time the data changes in the sensor, it will add new data to the data set and it will make it longer longer and longer so we need to set a bound where we will replace the old data with the new data so i guess 25 is a good number and when the data reaches 25 we can remove the first one and keep removing the first one continuously so that we don't get overwhelmed with lots of data so in here we have added three conditions uh, for three data sets and it will trigger when the data set count is more than 25 and when it is more than 25 it will start removing the first one so now that we have 
the data changes now we notify the line data and then we notify data sets change on the line chart and then we call invalidate to redraw the data chart now we need to add the sensor to register with the sensor listener and we are done so far now we are going to test in the real device to show the actual result how it looks on real devices so now let's test the app and see how it works as you can see right now the accelerometer data is showing properly as i am moving my device the data is changing so this is the fixed state when the phone is laying down on the table and this is when i pick it up so now you know how can we show accelerometer data using mp android chart in real time feel free to share your comments or thoughts about this video all the codes will be available in the github repository i have added the link in the description you can check from there stay tuned for upcoming videos where i will be teaching you some more stuff thank you for watching tranquilly coding have a good day